Well, the cruise industry is the last one that's been completely shut down here in the U.S., but that is about to change. The ship Celebrity Edge is going to set sail from Fort Lauderdale, Florida tomorrow to sail through the Caribbean with stringent safety measures in place. Others, though, like a Royal Caribbean cruise ship, which was supposed to sail a week from tomorrow, had to push the cruise back nearly a month after eight crew members tested positive for COVID. So it's clear that this return to the seas could be a bit bumpy. And joining us live now is Chris, Christine Randisi, travel sales manager for AAA of Western and Central New York. Thank you so much for coming on. We appreciate it it. Thank you. You're welcome. A lot of the first COVID outbreaks that we found out about were on cruise ships. So what have the cruise companies done to make it safer for people now? You know, I have to tell you, the cruise suppliers have really demonstrated a huge commitment to focusing on guest, guest health and safety, um, many requiring crew and passengers to be fully vaccinated prior to sailing. Um, some new protocols such as, you know, ongoing COVID-19 testing throughout the sailing, social distancing and mandatory mask wearing in public um, are some of the few things that they have been doing. Um, now, as you said, the first sailing tomorrow leaving out of Fort Lauderdale, um, there's there's a little bit of a difference there because um, uh, Mr. Mr. DeSantis has said that we cannot ask um, for someone to show their um, co proof of COVID testing um, vaccination. So, the thing is, is if you are not willing to show your vaccination card, then you will have some a little bit extra stringent rules on you where you may not be able to participate in some things, or if you can participate, you may have to wear a mask. So again, they're not asking for the vaccination card, uh, but are really encouraging people to um, show it. So that leads into my next question. If someone's planning on going on a cruise, is there anything extra they should bring with them now that they didn't bring before? I would imagine your vaccination card and masks. Absolutely. Those are the two main things. All right. So as we find out about the variants and surges around the world, what happens if somebody books a cruise and then travel to that country is put on pause? Or are there certain destinations right now that are more popular because people are thinking about the pandemic? Um, are you talking strictly cru with cruising? With cruising. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so with cruising right now, you know, they're, they're only going to the destinations that are allowing. Now, let's say while you're on the middle of a cruise and something may happen, then the, the cruise will, the cruise line will just stay out to sea. Um, but, you know, just keep in mind that each port of call does have different rules based on what you can and cannot do. And those things, that kind of information will be given to the passengers, you know, on a daily basis. Based on where things stand right now, what are some of the most popular cruise destinations people are picking? So mostly in the Caribbean and Mexico. Um, those have been um, places that have, you know, welcomed uh, U.S. citizens back with open arms. As you can imagine, it's been a really long time since they've had uh, some tourism on their island. So the Caribbean and Mexico has been very, very popular for cruising. And how are prices right now? Did they go up to offset some of the losses during the pandemic or are there really good deals? So I, I would say that the, the pricing is, is pretty much the same as we've seen in past years. Um, I don't believe cruise lines are trying to gouge you know, their customers, you know, they want people to come back and they want people to get back to cruising. Um, the biggest thing you do have to remember, though, is with the pent up demand for travel, you know, the, the cruise lines are not sailing at full capacity. On average, they're sailing at about 40 percent capacity for passengers. However, they do still have a full um, staff on board, so the service will be fantastic. Um, however, with only, you know, an average of 40 percent, and we have a lot of um, folks out there with uh, future travel credits that they need to use from cruises that were, you know, canceled due to the pandemic. So between those people wanting to use those cruise credits and those people just wanting to travel because it's been a long time since we've been able to do some things, um, the availability um, is selling up very quickly. All right, Chris, Christine Randizzi, travel sales manager for AAA of Western and Central New York. Thank you so much for sharing part of your night with us. Thank you. And that is all for the town hall for this Friday. If you have a question or comment, you can text us. The number to do that is 716-849-2220.